been out to Tuahiwi today and now you're back in Christchurch. They're two quite different areas. To Māori, why did Māori not settle in the same place that the Europeans did? Christchurch was always a swampland. So our people settled out <coughs> um, towards Kaipui Moor and near Tuahiwi. They eventually settled at Tuahiwi. Tuahiwi is a ridge. Right. And it's hard to see, but if you know the, the land, the road and Tuahiwi towards Rangiora runs along a ridge. So it was just slightly higher than everyone else. And they lived there because of flooding. And everywhere else is flooded. And it's really interesting. If you went out to North Canterbury and two months ago when it, when it was flooded, yeah. all the houses that were standing dry were the ones in Tuahiwi. Right. And all the new subdivisions were wet and flooded. Mm. Really interesting to watch. So, But that's home. Um, Christchurch has always been a food gathering place for our people because it was swamp. And um, I know everyone says the Māori year starts with Matariki in the winter, which is June. That's right, but everyone returns back here in the spring, which is coming up soon, because the white bait comes up the rivers, the, um, the eels start coming out of the holes. But it's no different from the trout fishermen. People yeah. will start going for the trout in October. Our lots start about September, that's when the world warms up, right through to different types of food are taken right through until the end of summer, which is a really nice period for harvesting food. So Christchurch is really a place for harvesting food. Okay, so yeah. Ōtutahi to Māori was a food gathering area. Mm. What did Europeans <coughs> see in the area and why did they settle in a quite different place? Well, they, they saw farmland, obviously. Right. Um, but the Dean's family was interesting um, because they settled over at um, Dean's Bush, which is the old Māori name for that is Pūtaringa Motu. And pū is obviously the clump of trees. Taringa is the nooses used to catch the birds. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, but if you look at Dean's Bush, the Dean's family were quite interesting. They came to this side of town, and all the old settlers did. And that's where they snared birds. So Māori would go there and snare a lot of birds. But the Dean's family came here, and they settled here to farm, obviously. Um, and then the Canterbury Association and everyone settled here obviously because it's farmland for pasture and for grazing and for agricultural reasons wheat and everything they wanted to, to farm um, but it's interesting the Otago Association when they came here in 44 the surveyor obviously they were considering settling here but the surveyor thought the Avon River was too swampy and too unstable so they took their settlement down to Dunedin so why did they settle here? Um, I guess for location, farming, coming over the Port Hills was a big trip. And travel up the Avon River was easier. Right. Because it was a big river then. Yeah, yeah. so mm. vast areas of flat land. Yeah. So the Avon River's obviously got a lot of significance to the area. Mm. And that's actually what you're going to have a look at next.